Welcome to Gear Check Games. This is part one of our Donkey Kong Country commentary. I'm Joe, and as usual, I'm joined by my two Kong patriots, uh, Dan and Trey. You know what? We we don't deserve you. Goodbye. Thank you for thank you for clicking on us at least. Uh, I love this opening. I'm I'm with you there. I don't want to upset it, but at the same time, I want to tell people that my name's Trey. So they're finally here, performing for you. If you know the words, you can join in too. Put your hands together if you want to clap as we take you Dan, to Dan, this gonna get, monkey rap. We're going to get flagged. Oh, okay. I'll stop you sa- You sound just like, like... Was it Chris Sutherland who performed the DK rap? Or... I don't remember. Uh. Some, some British dude. Anywho, Donkey Kong Country, one of my all-time favorite 2D platformers. Yeah. Being played off of the Super Nintendo Classic, which I decided to waste money on for some reason. <laughs> that was my question. <laughs> one of the few examples where I uh, preferred kind of more naturalistic 3D-looking visuals over more stylized 2D visuals. Compared to... Uh... I don't know, like Mario and stuff like that. Oh yeah, this this game looked like nothing else at the time, uh, back when it came out in '94, the year yeah. of my birth, incidentally. Man, it still <laughs> looks good. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah people. I mean, I, I I I suppose certain like aspects of it haven't aged super well. Like some of it does look kind of plasticky, but there's still like a like a really unprecedented level of detail here. Just in, like, everything, like, the sound is really nice, the music is really nice, and, like... Yeah. Not to mention, but, the, the, I know this is, like, gee. the green greens of this game, but this level is chocked full of goodies. Yeah. So many, in fact, that it keeps interrupting the music. Yeah. I think the only, you know, when people think of, like, modern Donkey Kong, like, you know, the song they think of is the, the, the DK Island Swing. And if you don't know what song that is, there are seven versions of of it in Smash Brothers. So, <laughs> <laughs> pick one you like. Yeah, this, this is running in sixty frames a second. Mm-hmm. Ooh, looks good. Seven twenty p, baby. <laughs> the bare minimum that could be <laughs> considered HD. But um, yeah, I just in these early levels, you're going in and out of bonus rooms so often that like. You don't really hear much of this music apart from, like, the big, long drum build-up at the beginning. Which I'll say is kind of a common theme with David Wise's uh, compositions. They kind of take a while to get going in a lot of cases. Especially in Tropical Freeze, like, that game has a fantastic soundtrack, but... I kind of wish that they hadn't included the death theme and just kind of, like, let the music keep playing. Oh, whoa. Yeah. (laughs) That was a very fair puzzle right there. Yeah, no kidding. Jump into a pit to get a bonus room. You would have to you would have to either die there or like just leap of faith it to understand that that's there. Hey man, 90s kids didn't complain about blatantly unfair game design. Looks Wasn't so- this game where there's a minecart level where you just jump off a cliff at the beginning and take a barrel that takes you all the way to the end of the stage? That's the very first minecart level, actually. Oh my god. Because <laughs> who wants to play video games, am I right? <laughs> Is that there for the devs, or just there for people who don't want to do that level? I don't know. It's probably just a neat little easter egg. K-O-N-G. But yeah, nice, uh... I, the, the first version of this I played was uh, the Game Boy Advance version, which, if you've never seen that game, look it up. It is it is a trip. Though it did have some kind of fun minigames, but, like, I don't think I really realized what they were going for with, like, the changed graphics in the second level, because, you know, in the Super Nintendo version, like, the screen goes dark and it's really clear, like, oh, it's raining, this is cool. But, like, in the GBA version, like, it doesn't get dark, so it just looks kind of weird and cheap, but I don't know. It's weird, because the GBA was like technically more powerful than the Super Nintendo, wasn't it? Apart from like its sound card. Uh, what happened? I don't know. Well, yeah, I, th- I think the... And I'm sorry for my lack of like 
technical knowledge here, but I think the GBA is like considered a 32-bit system. It is. And the SNES was 16-bit, so like, why is why are the visuals and audio like so downgraded on the more powerful hardware? Ah, nice skip. Thank you. Maybe it was the thing with like the screen resolution and there being no backlight. Well, I think I think part of the problem might have been like the color palette that they chose. Like That's they true. didn't make the screen go dark because I think that game came out like either right before or right around the launch of the GBA SP, which was the first one that had an actual backlight in the screen. So maybe they were just trying to accommodate for that, but it has not aged well. <laughs> this, on the other hand, still looks gorgeous. SP was one of the first consoles I got on launch day. Oh, yeah? That was a good system. I think I got an original model GBA, like, right before the SP came out, and I was all, like, like, huffy about it with my friends, like, oh, I don't see what's so great about it. <sighs> I got a cool snake light on my Game Boy, I don't know what you guys are bragging about. You can play it in the car, yo! Day or night! <laughs> Actually, didn't the GBA SP have like a, like a non-standard like headphone jack? It was the same jack that you charge it with, so you had to buy proprietary headphones. Yeah, uh -huh. not the original model GBA though. Looks like a Nintendo was up to their shenanigans even back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they learned their lesson because the DS thankfully had a normal headphone port. <laughs> Sony. And it's a good thing too because this level has amazing music. Yeah. I never got a Game Boy SP, but I did have like five different Game Boy Advances of all different colors. So, I don't know how I don't know how I got came, I don't know how I came into all those Game Boy Advances. They just kind of appeared. <laughs> My doorstep. I, yeah, I think I heard the doorbell least, ringing. There it was. I think at least two of them. Uh, my parents bought for my brother and I and my sister to all share. And then we just kind of kept accumulating more Game Boy Advances somehow. I don't know. I honestly don't know how. My brother had a GBA, but like after like a year, he did not play it. But then miraculously, I saved enough money as like a friggin' twelve-year-old uh, to get a SP. You know, now that I think about it, I think um, Donkey Kong Country on GBA was like the first like game that I ever beat that was like actually actually like legitimately difficult. Because <laughs> prior to this, like I had played other platformers, but I never really owned one or like sunk time into it. With the sole exception being Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, also for GBA, and I mean that should speak for itself. Great game, but not exactly the most challenging. Hey, that's well, as you guys know, I was raised on Super Mario World with invisible bosses and oh, super yeah, you ghouls and the, ghosts. You had the glitched uh, Mario World cartridge. Oof. You showed us that cart one night. I forget, what do you get for getting 100 uh, espresso tokens or other uh, tokens? You get an extra life for every 100 you collect. Okay. I'd say this is probably my favorite animal bonus stage because it seems like it's the easiest to get, like, the most yeah. tokens, but, like, at the same time, and I don't know if it's just because I've played this game so many times, but, like, I never really find myself wanting for lives. So after I get to a certain point, like, I tried to show off all of the animal bonus rooms at least once, but, um, <sighs> after the first time, it's like, it's, you don't really need them. That was a lot extra. Like, that's something I enjoy about this, uh, about the, the Donkey Kong Country games, as well as, like, the old, uh, Sonic games, that you can't really do as much in the old Mario games, where, like, in Donkey Kong and Sonic, bananas and rings, which, you know, you collect a hundred to get an extra life, are a lot more plentiful if you play the game, like, more slowly and carefully. So, like, when you're just, like, learning the ropes, you know, you can give yourself a lot more leniency by, like, you know, not rushing your way through the game. Whereas with, like, Mario 1, for instance, you're more likely to get 1-ups from, like, 
hidden blocks than you are from um, collecting coins just because coins are so much more scarce in that game. Which they thankfully remedied with like Mario 3 and World, but like I... That's one of the reasons I have a hard time going back to Mario 1, because it's just like... It's just so punishing. They should mm. not have started you out with three lives in that game. <laughs> oh, this music. Yeah. So here's uh, Funky Kong, whom we will never be using. My bodacious jumbo barrel. Yeah, Funky Kong is really only here in case if you need to go back to a previous world. God. I love how the plane barrel is just a commercial plane, airplane <laughs> with a barrel around it. Yeah, anybody can ride in it. Funky doesn't turn anybody away with a wallet. Even a Kremlin. I love how Diddy holds barrels. Look at him. He can't see you over that barrel. <laughs> D Donkey's gotta be his spotter. <laughs> so I'll have you know, this was like the first time in years that I've actually played this level normally. Because if you didn't see uh, a couple screens ago, there was a banana trail going across the top of the screen. And if you climb up the cliffside at the beginning of the level and like hop across a few treetops, there's a barrel that pretty much like shoots you in an endless stream like all the way to the goal. Mm. Speed but I figured, stress. you know, I want to give people the at least the slight impression that I'm all right at games. So. Oh, whoa! By the way, I, d I definitely didn't edit out like the vast majority of my deaths in this playthrough. <laughs> There's no deaths in part one, but... Mm -hmm, that's what they want us to believe. <laughs> I mean, where mm -hmm. would they have been? Oh, whoa, I didn't know about this. Yeah, I, I try to show off bonus rooms when I know the location of them, but like in DKC1, I'm not as inclined to like try to 100% the game because... You don't really get much besides, like, bananas and extra lives from the bonus rooms. And, like I said, it's, it's kind of the same problem with the animal tokens, where lives are so plentiful anyway that you really don't need, like, all the bonus rooms just to get by. Yeah, enjoy this easy barrel blasting while it lasts, because once we get to World 4, it'll be quite the different story. <laughs> Spooky wasps. It's like, oh, you like you like blasting out of barrels? See how you like it when there's a snowstorm in front of the screen? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah no I thanks. about the layering in this game. Yeah. I, I love how in some of the cave levels, there are like stalactites in the foreground, like layered on top of the HUD. <laughs> like, how does that happen? Come on. <laughs> the most immersive game ever made. Oh, she's your saves. Yep. Yep. And now that we've established that, let us never speak of her again. <laughs> Boss time! Get out! I better, I better mention this before the boss is dead, because he's not going to be around long. Better hurry the, up. The, the bosses are one of the weaker elements of this game. They're very simplistic and easy to kill. Except for the final one. The final one's pretty good. But... Oh, there is the hat flip. Um, so yeah. That's uh, World 1 of Donkey Kong Country. I'm so upset that Naughty wasn't in Smash. Yeah, man. <laughs> he's 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 been waiting for two decades, and they just they just keep shafting him. You could say he's bothered about it. No. <laughs> End part. <laughs>